For Newsy, I'm Carissa Lathan. Who wouldn't want to go to Mars? But what if it's only a one-way ticket? Apparently, for more than 200,000 people, that's no problem. The project is called Mars One, organized by the Mars One Foundation, a nonprofit which is working to get humans living on Mars in a decade. The group says it will select six teams of four by 2015, then train them and have the first group on Mars by 2023, then send the following groups every two years after, eventually creating a community. The elaborate plan to create a civilization on the red planet could cost up to $6 billion. WXYZ explains how how Mars One is planning to come up with the dough. 2,700 people have paid their registration fees, which for Americans was $38. Is that it? Well, that, and it also hopes to make a few bucks from sponsors and media companies by broadcasting the trip as a seemingly amazing reality type show. Mars One expects that its pockets will brim with the investments of people eager to watch people with essentially zero odds of going home. Mars One has been advertising for applicants for a year now, and the interest only seems to be growing. In May, Time reported there were 78,000 people vying for spots. In August, CNN said the interest had grown to more than 100,000. And now, as of Monday, more than 200,000 want to go. Mars One says it's received applications from 140 different countries. Which countries seem to have the most interest? National Geographic says the U.S. had the most applicants, followed by India, then China. Well, in case you are one of the chosen few and you really do get left on Mars, here are a couple tips for you. If the humans now survive the trip, they'll have minus 67 degree temperatures to deal with in desert-like atmospheres, which means they're going to have to take their snuggies with them. The best option is to bury your house as a bunker underground with an airlock door. Oh, great. You've come all this way and you'll be living in the same sort of place you'd find a mole. Oh. Underground like a mole cuddled up in a Snuggie? When you make it sound like that, why not go? For Newsy, I'm Carissa Lathan.